Welcome back to Zelda, the Skyward Sword. We got a blue chick floating on the stairs. Let's see what she wants. Hey, come back, blue chick. Are you a Smurf? Smurf. <laughs> okay. She went through the door. Where are you now? Hey, I'm gonna catch you. Come back here. Blue chick. I don't think I wanna be. Whoa. Okay, it's a cat. Ferret thing. Attack a cat, Nintendo. <laughs> There's a chest down there. You know what I'm gonna... I know we have more important things to be doing. Ooh, red ruby. There was two of them. Did I do a front flip? I have a sword, stay away. Hop. Hop. Okay. There's a bat now. Come here, bat. Rupee, rupee, rupee. Okay, not having any problems. You guys can't. I don't think you guys can hear any sword slashes, which is gonna be kind of weird. But. Unless you're hearing it through my, um. Uh, my... God, what's it called? My Wii Remote. Leap, leap, leap. Which isn't entirely impossible. She went through the wall. Okay, it's not a wall anymore. All right, let's go in. Why not? Let's let's do this. Inside the statue of the goddess. Cool sword. Die, chick! The one chosen by my creator. I have been waiting for you. You will play a role in the great destiny. According to your social customs, I should provide you with a personal designation. Fi is the name I was given. I was created for a single purpose long before the recorded memory of your people. I must aid you in fulfilling the great destiny that is your burden to carry. Come, Zeg. You must take up this sword, and as you, the one chosen by my creator, it is your destiny. The strange dream troubling you, troubling your sleep, my sudden appearance, 
Uncertainty surrounds the fate of the one you hold dear. Under the circumstances, it is only logical that you would exhibit exhibit some apprehension. Yeah. To minimize your uncertainty, allow me to share some information. My projections indicate that this information has a high pos probability of altering your current emotional state. The one you seek, Honorable Zelda, is still alive. <laughs> Thank God! And this spirit maiden, the one you call Zelda, is another chosen one fated to be part of the same great mission. Therefore, should you wish to meet with your friend, I highly recommend you take up this sword before you set out to search for her. Does that information invigorate you? Are you ready to accept this sword? <laughs> yes. Dude, he bailed at that sword. It seems that further persuasive measures will not be required. In the same name of my creator, draw the sword and raise it skyward. Okay. Okay, that was kind of painful, but I probably could have done that a lot. Whoa. There we go. Yeah! Who's a badass? Thank God I locked it in position. You got the goddess sword. This mysterious sword is bathed in divine light. Hells yeah. Recognition complete, master. Zeg, my master. Sweet. Zeg! I've had my suspicions, but until now I wasn't sure. Yet here we are in the chamber of the sword, the very place where it was foretold the youth of legend would one day appear. It is said that this place was left to our people by the goddess herself. The very knowledge of this room existence is a secret passed down to a select few each generation, along with a handful of words. When the light of the goddess sword shines bright, the great apocalypse will wake from its long slumber. Do not fear, for it is then that a youth, guided by my hand, shall reveal himself in place most sacred. It started days ago, the sword that I've kept secret all these years that began to give off a faint, otherworldly light. At first, I was sure I was seeing things. Here alone with the sword, there was simply no other explanation. I never dreamt the prophecy of legend would come to pass in my lifetime. Your eyes are really round. The words I have sworn to keep secret are coming true before my very eyes. The youth will be guided by one born of the blade. One who is also youthful in likeness, yet wise with knowledge immer immeasurable. Ah uh, yes, the oral tradition, one of the least reliable methods of information re retention and transmission. It appears that critical sections of the passage have been lost over the generations. The youth who draws forth the guiding sword shall be known as the goddess's chosen one, chosen hero, and it is he who possesses an unbreakable spirit. He shall be burdened with the task of abolishing the shadow of apocalypse from the land, such is his destiny. With the spirit of the blade at his side, he shall soar over the clouds and plummet below, and unite the spirit with the spirit maiden. And united with the spirit mating shall begin for bring forth a piercing light that resurrects the land. Okay. Some of father's old texts talk about a place called the surface. The old tales describe a whole world below far more vast than Skyloft. Sweet. 
Master, you must embark on a great journey beneath the clouds to the vast realm of the surface. It is only through this journey that you can fulfill the mission set before you by my creator, the goddess. It is also the only method available for you to reunite with the spirit maiden, Honorable Zelda. This is no easy task, Zeg. The world below is a forsaken place, and to reach it, you must pierce the cloud barrier below. In living memory, no one has ever done this. This tablet will illuminate a path through the clouds to the land below. Take it and place it within the altar behind me. You got the emerald tablet, the weather surface of a heavy tablet, blah blah blah. Master, the first thing you must do is hit the crescent crest sitting in this room with the skyward strike. These blasts are formed of pure energy that charge within your blade when lift it skyward. Once you have charged your blade, face the crest and swing your sword to send out a powerful skyward strike. Okay, what crest? I'm guessing this crest. Can I? Okay, so you can't be targeted to do a skyward blah blah blah. Sweet! Okay, we place that in. Huh? That area is very green now. Master Zeg, it is done. Until now, a cloud barrier created by the goddess has separated the world you know from the one below. The tablet you placed in the altar has opened a small rift in the barrier. You can use it to travel through the clouds to the realm below. I have recognized you as my master, and so it is my duty to follow you wherever you may go. I reside within your sword and will accompany you in your travels. Press down to summon me whenever you require my assistance. Neat! You're cool! Zeg, listen a moment. The nature of the great apocalypse mentioned in the old text is a complete mystery to me. But whatever it turns out to be, it seems that both you and Zelda have big roles to play in the destiny of this land. Just think, if it, if the, what this fee says is true, Zelda is alive! Alive and no doubt coming to terms with whatever it is the goddess has in store for her. Should you heed the call of destiny, I don't know what dangers you may face, Zeg. Especially down there. But if you've decided to brave the unknown, please find my daughter and bring her back to me. Sure. After I have my own time. What we've seen here today defies explanation. But it is only the start of your journey. Please see it through and prove the legends are true. Okay. You do your people proud, Zeg. Can I get some new clothes? Preferably green. Dawn is dawn drawing near. It has been a long night for the both of us, hasn't it? You have a great journey before you, Zeg, and those clothes. They don't look up to the task. The uniform you were to receive for winning the race should be ready by now. A sturdy uniform that like that will prove much more suitable for a long journey. You'd better change before you go. Yes. Yes, I must. Would you like to save your progress? Yes, it would. Saved. Awesome. Hmm. 
That green uniform is what our knights will be wearing this year. To be honest, I've had my doubts about the color. But oddly enough, seeing you wear this uniform, I can't imagine a more fitting color for you. It's as though you were born to wear it. Yes, I was. Quite literally, was born to wear this. Take care of on your journey, and be sure to stop by some of the shops at the bazaar here in town. Hook up yourself properly for the travels ahead. I will return to my quarters and see if I can glean more useful information from the ancient text. You're always welcome to stop by if you have questions. You and Zelda, Zelda shall be in my prayers. May the goddess watch over you and guide you both. All right, we're finally free to move, I think. Open my door. Open in my door. The egg. Oh wait, wrong guy. That green uniform looks so adventurous. You sure look like a knight now. The headmaster said you're heading out to look for Zelda. You're really something else. I could never imagine myself doing what you're about to do. I put a lot of work into making it. You should take it with you. Take what? You got adventure pouch. You can store all kinds of useful items. This handy piece of gear. Neat. It's an adventurer's pouch. It's for adventures. It's neat because you can fit four things in it, and you'll be that you'll need on your big journey. You can buy all kinds of stuff in, at the bazaar and put in your pouch. You could buy potions, a shield. They'd fit in the pouch, and they might come in handy on your adventure. Zeg, I know. I just know you'll find Zelda for us. I like the idea of a shield. Hey, I just saw the news out there. How come only you got promoted to senior clients to talk about stupid? On top of that, all of that, Groose won't come out of his room and Zelda's missing. It's all your fault. Way to go, buddy. Since senior class getting you and me would be. Can I go in the rooms yet? I can! Can I steal? Sit. Why can I sit? Sleep. Oh, hey, don't sleep. That's neat. I can actually sleep now. I have control of my destiny through sleep, Fledge. Ooh. What's a Fledge? Open. Ah! I just want a klepto. Fine. I won't go into any rooms anymore. I don't care. If I can't klepto, what's the point? That's the restroom. Restroom! What do you have to tell me? I heard the news, Zeg. Zelda's fallen down through the clouds, and you're going to look for her, is that right? The headmaster told me there's a land beneath the clouds. Do you know anything about it? So that's the famous sword. Ah, but it won't do you much good if you don't have a shield to protect yourself with. Here, take this with you. Yay, he gave me a shield. Wooden shield is light. Breaks easily and can burn, so be careful how you use it. The wooden shield is light and mo maneuverable, but it's also the weakest of all shields. Also, keep in mind that it's particularly b vulnerable to fire! If it breaks, you can buy a new one at the bazaar. To equip a shield, hold... Okay. You... If you're not sure how to use a shield... Then... Okay. Okay, well, it's now equipped. <laughs> That's awesome. Okay. Let's go look at the bazaar. Oh, hey. Master, I have an update regarding the stone tablet and the resulting column of light it created. The column of light has appeared to the south of our location. 
and signs indicate that it has created an opening in the cloud barrier in the land below. I must also caution you that descending to the surface armed with only a sword would result in a decreased probability of survival. If you have not already done so, I advise that you purchase a shield and potions at the bazaar, blah blah blah. Another subject to discuss matter, Master. Once you become accustomed to the controls, you are free to modify the on-screen interface. The gear screen and select interface to change the on-screen display to suit your preferences. Okay, um... Let's go to the bazaar. Okay, first let's look up- oh, it's a small wallet. Okay, into the bazaar. I'll probably check out the bazaar and then... So you're the you're, so you're the one coming, but I'm sure you don't know. Don't, don't forget. Okay, where do I buy stuff? I... This my eyes behold. Oh, a young man with cal calamitous visions before me. You may not believe it, but my eyes will see a hazard thrown thrown ahead of you. But I can foresee what will befall you, for I am a fortune teller. Trust my piercing eyes. Listen to my pure and innocent voice. I will do you no harm. Gaze deep into my eyes and come closer. No. Hello, welcome to the item check. Want to put your stuff from your pouch into storage? Okay, that's fine. Is there anything in your... No. Oh, really? Great. Not like my time's worth anything. You're a bitch. Those bombs? Ah, oh, very sorry. I can't sell those to you until you have a bomb bag. You bitch. Hello there. Oh, but I, I get into my warning. You, you need an empty to buy anything. Understand, dear? If you want to know more about how just ask. How do I get an empty bottle? Hey, there you are! Yes, the adorable boy with the golden hair! Welcome to the potion shop! You can drink our potions when you're injured to fill up your heart. Hey, you're one of those knights, aren't you? Or one in training, at least. Hmm? Let me tell- look- tell you. One look at you, I can tell you'll need my potions by the cauldron full. So don't try to slink away without stocking up. Oh dear! I forgot to ask if you have an empty bottle on you. Just so you know, I can't sell you a potion if you don't have an empty bottle to pour it in. Mm. For some reason, I like you, though, so I'll give you a spare empty bottle I've been keeping here in the stall. Oh, it's nothing. It's my little gift. You won't hear me say this often, but you can put other things beside potions in empty bottles, so it's useful to carry around. Okay, well, that's good. You can fill with all sorts of useful things. Mm. Empty bottles fit into the adventure pouch. Blah, blah, blah. If you ever get to a point where you can't fit any more in your pouch because it's full, you can always drop items off of the mm. item check. That's a vat of heart. Drink this, dear, and replenish eight hearts. Why don't you pick up some for your- it's only 20 rupees, how about it? You know what? Sure. Heart potion, when you place it, you restore eight hearts. Thank you, sweetie. If you potion blah blah blah, go to my husband, and he can mix something up for you. Okay, so he's able to mix stuff. That's a shield, which I already have one. What are these? My friend, you don't appear to have a slingshot. Okay, so I'm gonna get a slingshot. You don't have anything that I want, so go away. Alright, so I'm gonna go save and stop once I get there. It's really nice that I don't have to roll to be fast anymore. Um, there's the green light. I wonder if it still f doesn't look like it. I thought it might be faster to, still to, to, um, I got my sword, 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 eh, that's awesome. Okay, I'm gonna use this statue and stop here, so thanks for watching everybody, and I will see you next time. Bye!